creating a hedra extended primitive. So extended primitives are complex 3D geometric shapes. And we have quite a few of those. Uh, those things are like a chamfered box and a spindle and a hedra, etc. So uh, to do this, we're going to go up into our command panel. We're going to pick on our create panel, our create tab. We're going to go to geometry and we're going to come down here and hit the down arrow and we're going to go into extended primitives. In the extended primitives we have the different object types. We're going to start with the hedra. We pick on a hedra and it will go in and we're going to pick and drag out till we get to the radius. And you'll notice when I let go, you'll see that my radius down here in my parameters is set down here. And I could say, well, I wanted 40. Now, in the, the name, I could give it any name, hit enter, and give it an actual name, give it any color by picking on the color swash. In the family parameters, I can choose it to be a tetrahedral, uh, which is a double pyramid type thing. Or I could go with a cubed um, octave uh, primitive, which uh, is either uh, creates a cube or octahedron. Or we can go to the, the dodec isos, which actually create a dodecahedral or an isohedron. Or we can go with a star one, which is a, a star like polyhedra. Or I can go with star 2, which is another variation of a star-like polyhedra. So whichever method I like, I'll go back to tetra and go and choose on that. Now, the family parameters for the P and Q. Uh, these are spinners that add up or equal 1. And essentially, one is the vertexes that you're changing, and the other one is the facets. So I can say 0.1 here. And you'll see that, boom, I'm adding in these facets. So I'm altering either the shape of the facets or the shape of the vertices. With axis scaling, essentially, I am pulling on the facets. Uh, so I'll go with, say, R and give it 200, for example. And you'll see I'm pulling out this facet. And I'll bring that back to 100, which is the default value. And I'll change the, the Q here to 200. And I'll hit Enter. And you can see it's pushing out on a different faceted face. Go back to 100. Oop, 100. And I'll go back to P to 200 here. And you'll see, all right, it's... Uh, Actually, on the back side here, um, and so we can play with the axis scaling. Vertices basic means that we are going to have essentially just the, the, the facets, the, the minimal amount of facets on each side. So here I have just the triangle shape. With the center, I'm actually putting a vertice right in the center. Uh, of, of this uh, face and with center and sides I run a vertice, a vertice right in the middle and I run sides out to uh, each corner essentially doubling the number of uh, facets that we'll have when we do this. So essentially we can make all kinds of shapes so when I go to uh, something like this I can always come in here and stretch these shapes out depending on how I want to manipulate these. Uh, so just remember that I start with the family first, then I work down my parameters as you go generally. And then so I want to start with what shape I really want to in the beginning with, and then from there I'll alter that as I come down here and further parameters. So in this case, a hedra is a three-dimensional shape uh, in which we can alter into very many facets and, and vertices to make various complex 3D shapes.